highly recommend Sean Tice as a speaker for your group or school. He is entertaining, he's educated, and I appreciate how he is able to, um, in his speaking, talk about character traits and the importance and value of becoming and maturing as an adult. One, two, three! I want to be successful! You have to be faithful. That's the first and most important step to a successful life. Sean was a great speaker. I highly recommend him. He has a lot of good points and really relates to the students. I love his stories and I understood completely what he said. Do you have your uh, driver's permit in here? Anybody have a driver's permit? Okay, why don't you give us your driver's license? Okay, okay. Driver's license, okay. Uh, who, 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 Anybody? Okay. I get to the driver's license center and I can sign up my test. Before I went though, there was this, in my school, some of the students were warning each other about this guy. He would fail everybody for the first time around. And I was hoping, I'm like, I don't want to get that guy. So I went to the driver's license test and I sign up, I get signed in. And guess who I got? That guy. Let's call him Stu. I don't know, I remember his name. Let's call him Stu. And he looks over my speedometer and he says, Sean, you know how fast you're going? Like, yeah, very good. He's like, you're speeding, you fail. I'm like, dude, you really want to tell me that? I'm driving the car right now, okay? I'll drive this thing off the road! I'm just kidding. I'm going to do it again. I'm like, I can't, there's no way I can steal it again. I walk in, I sign up, take the test. I tell everybody at school to take my test again, because I'm a loud mouth. And I go in, I'm like, take my test again, I'm the fastest thing, I can't fail the second time. I know it's 25 now, so I go in. Guess what I get signed to? Yeah. Stu! I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> then I have one of those moments where the light turned yellow. And it was one of those moments of, hmm, I don't remember studying about this. <laughs> and I look at the light, and I kind of glance at Stu. And I'm thinking to myself, do I do what I would do if I was driving by myself? And Stu looks over at me, and he says, Sean, that was a yellow light. You're supposed to stop. You fail. I'm like, man, I'm going to drive this car off the road. I'm serious. You're making me mad. So then I go and take the test again. And guess what I get? My name is Jerry Frimmel and I'm a principal here in Venice, Florida. We just experienced Sean Tice at one of our school assemblies and I would encourage you to have Sean come in to challenge the kids to be the best that they can be. In this day and age we know our students are up against all kinds of things that will take away, detract from their full potential and Sean has words of hope and encouragement and real challenge for them to stay on the up and up, to use all of the gifts and talents, talents that they have been given to do what's right, to make the right choices, the right decisions. So if you're really looking to uh, challenge your students to have someone come uh, who's funny, uh, creative, uh, very personable, very transparent, and I felt who the students could relate to and warm up to, uh, I would encourage you to have Sean uh, come in and visit with you and challenge those students once again to be the best that they can be. Anybody ever get a paper airplane for a class? Be honest. Okay. We all have made unwise decisions. We all have things in our lives that we, we wish we wouldn't have done. We wish we wouldn't have um, partaken in. Those things that you face that bring you down. Those people that have failed you. And you, you know those people that have done that and it, it brings you down. You have to come to the point where you do a one hand behind you. But keep pursuing what's good. Keep pursuing what you know is right. Keep pursuing the successful life, okay? Put those past, the past behind you. Give them a round of applause, guys. Give them a round of applause. My purpose when speaking to students is to show them that they can be successful, that they can overcome whatever it is they're dealing with in their life. I do this through relating to them through personal stories of mine, personal stories from my home life, a home life that's very similar to, to many of the students in your school. I also um, share stories of my, what I went through in my schooling and relate to them through that. And I also um, relate to them through humor, and make them laugh. And then when I, once I've related to them through these things, I'm able to give them instruction on how to pursue a successful future. Your students can do something awesome they can have a successful life.